we saw in the cemetery. I think we lost, by their record there, over 847 soldiers. And that is in that cemetery alone. Uh, no, not this year. From 2013 to date, that is their record. And that in, in that cemetery, they have army cemeteries elsewhere. They have some in Abuja. They have uh, where they bury their victims. But that allegation that there is mass burial, <laughs> when I saw it there, uh, it's not it's not true. Nigerians don't do that. Nigerians. Uh, a Nigerian army will never, never do that. In fact, if any of them is missing, they go out to search to get that person to declare, to know whether he is dead or alive. And even if he's dead, they try to retrieve the body. Another area of concern which the Senate will definitely look into is this allegation that the various NGOs in that area are conniving with... Um, the insurgents, providing them information, logistics, and so many things. Well, I have been critical about this from the beginning, and people used to warn me that, look, you are so vulnerable. But it has come out now that one or two of the, um, the so-called NGOs operating there are actually aiding and abating and supporting the insurgents, but we'll do an investigation and we will hear if we have the evidence. So far, we have evidence. We just want to make it credible. 